Please. I'm a graffiti artist. I've been for 33 years. I've been quite long on the stage. I'm going to paint this piece behind us, which is going to be on stage for a production later on um, in the month. Um, I've been here all day, just painting, having a chat with people, it's been good. So tell me a little bit about the creative process. You presumably knew a little bit about the play itself and what it was all about. Yeah, so. of course, yeah, they came along and just sort of said that this was for the main sort of backdrop for one of the, one of the pieces. Um, they wanted it to be fairly urban, the like sort of thing that we painted uh, on the street rather than it being something that's been put together as a pastiche for a theatre production. So it's a bit more of a genuine piece for, for, the, for the play. That's amazing. I'm quite impressed actually. It's when you think graffiti, you sort of think, you know, not exactly art, but this is art. <laughs> when your brother's dead, your mouth should taste of lead, and your eyes should feel like marbles. So when that's not the case, you have to fake your face to make relatives Believe you're a good boy. Uh, we are promoting the, the, the play Very Brother and Paper, and we've also got some live painting here uh, for the promotion. Um, the play is at the end of March. And yeah, it's really good. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how the graffiti set fits into the play. Why have you gone down this route? Well, the play itself is quite it's quite gritty, it's quite urban. And so the graffiti really fits into that. Um, on the set in itself there is a bit of graffiti using it. Um, yeah, and it's set in the industrial state of uh, and what sort of feedback have you had so far from people who've been passing and having a look? Right, yeah, really good actually. I think they're looking forward to the fact that on the breaking convention weekend they're going to be able to come and have a go as well. Um, they were very interested in all of that. So I think that's the main focus of this, is trying to attack the attention for the breaking convention thing as well. Getting people to come on and go have a go with this breaking. So tell me a little bit about what you're going to be up to on the breaking convention day. Well, we'll detail. the back basically is going to show people how to use a bit of spray paint. We're going to have a, a, a thing three times the size of the wall we've got behind us at the moment. A load of spray paint, a load of different colours and everything, then come along and have a go. So it's just a case of we're going to do a big colouring thing, come along and colour it all in, and have gloves and masks, sort of protecting from the hands and breathing. It should be a great weekend. We're getting to like dance with some of the top acts, some of the top hip hop acts at the moment around, uh, which we obviously normally wouldn't get to do because we, on the companies we've got like, we're very diverse in our styles, we've got contemporary going on, we do a little bit of ballet and then we come back to more street and stuff, so it's really nice to like get the hip hop in there, because otherwise it wouldn't happen, so it's really cool, it's really cool. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>